Here's a powerful tip that I want to give you on the Buggy Whip forehand that's really going to give you a lot of clarity around it. Now, on a regular forehand where you finish over the shoulder, it's going to look something like this. So I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna finish high, and I'm gonna finish right here. That's, that's the tennis forehand solution right here. Sure, a lot of players are gonna go over the shoulder, but if you have the tennis forehand solution, if you don't, I suggest that you get it. But if you have it, you know that I like that conventional finish right here, especially for you rec players out there. You catch the racket out in front. Now, let me show you a buggy whip. I'm gonna hit this shot. I'm gonna finish above my head. Now, look at my hand here. If I move my hand about four to six inches, I am now in that high conventional tennis forehand solution, high drive finish. Pretty cool, huh? I'll show it to you again. So if I come over here and finish with my hand above my head, and then I just move the racket, move the hand about four inches, I'm not now in that high finish. So when traditional coaches say, don't use the buggy whip, it's bad for you, it's going to hurt your shoulder, I say to them, wait a minute, it's only four inches of difference between here and here. How could that possibly hurt your shoulder? How could that possibly hurt your game? So just realize the buggy whip that I teach, the fundamental that I teach is not that different than that high drive finish that is going to help your forehand as well. I really hope you received a ton of value from this lesson today. I want you to use these tips and strategies so that you can go to the next level with your tennis. If you want to get more free lessons that'll instantly improve your tennis game, help you win more matches and have more fun while you're at it, go ahead and click the link below. I'm really excited to help you out, so go ahead and click the link below and get your free video lessons. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next video.